Okay, today we are looking at the new Infinity Saga Lego Quinjet. Uh, if I'm being honest, there's not much I was really looking forward to it. I kind of really bought it for the new minifigures because I really wanted one of these new Captain Americas and I hadn't gotten them yet. But uh, I also don't have a Quinjet other than the one from the very first movie when they released sets for those way back in 2012. So um, I thought I'd take a chance with this one. Looks like it's pretty promising. It's got some nice details and like I said, a great minifigure selection. So let's go ahead and suit up and build the Quinjet. <laughs>
there we have the Avengers Quinjet and honestly I'm pleasantly surprised it was a fun build it's got a lot of details but it's kind of a surprising small number of pieces like the bags I was surprised there was only seven of them but it gives you a really good size ship with a good size cockpit interiors got very limited detail well no detail I'd say there's some chairs and then some racks and that's really about it but you don't really need a whole lot of detail inside, but there's space for the whole team to sit and not feel like it's overly cramped. I think the weapons racks in the back of the Quinjet are a little much. It kind of seems like it's too crowded for anybody to get in and out of the back. Maybe if they put them up front instead, but honestly, no real complaints. Even without that much detail, I'm still happy with the amount of space inside you get. It seems with a lot of ships like these that they're just anybody you would put in there is just overly cramped and tough to get to and there's lots of room to reach inside and put people in so i like it that was great there's some pretty interesting techniques it switched it up enough that it wasn't an overly dull build even with you having to build two wings it still wasn't boring i was very surprised i enjoyed the whole process and putting it together and seeing it come together the only thing that was a little bit more difficult was I wanted to do the shield stickers instead of the Avengers logo stickers because I wanted this to be like it was from the first movie, kind of like how it's being sold as. But they don't really have like an alternate look of, okay, here's what you put if you want to use the Avengers sticker sheet and here's what you want to put if you want to put the shield sticker sheet. It's all just the Avengers sticking, sticker sheet. So if you're not paying close enough attention, you might put the wrong sticker on or use the wrong piece or have it facing the wrong way. You gotta have to pay a lot of attention to putting your stickers on for this one if you're wanting to put it a certain way. So it would have been nice if they had done like a side-by-side -side of here, sticker sheet A or sticker sheet B, which you need to put. Could have made it a little bit easier for some folks who may not pay attention enough. You also get a nice little display stand, which I love that they're including now and makes them look a lot better on the shelf. Unless you're one of those people who just kind of hang it from the ceiling, which those look pretty cool too. But if you just have them displaying on the shelf, it doesn't feel very, you know, cinematic or interesting if they're just, you know, landing gear out just sitting there. With the stands, it makes it look a little bit cooler and a little bit more nicer on the shelf. Like I said, the minifigure selection was what drew me to this set in the first place, and you get almost the whole Avengers team, just minus the Hulk and Hawkeye, and Hawkeye was really the minifigure that needed an upgrade for the new modern look. So it's a shame he wasn't included. But you get the big heavy hitters, you get Thor, Captain America, Iron Man, Black Widow, and they're good representations. The only ones that come with leg printing are Iron Man and Loki, but Black Widow does come with some nice arm printing, which is kind of nice. You also get hair pieces for both Iron Man and Loki, so you can recreate Loki being arrested and teleported away at the end of the movie if you so choose. And you get this new Captain America, which they've had this helmet mold around for, I think, the last three or four years now. So it's just been a minute until I could get a set that I actually thought I wanted in order to get this piece. And the Quinjet happened to be that. 
the head inside I think is now vastly improved with the older sets when they would do the skin tones on top of a solid color there was a lot of bad bleed through see a lot of the Batman minifigures but this time I think they've finally gotten a good balance it's not perfect but it's pretty darn close and there's hardly any bleed through it looks like it's skin tone there's not quite that much blue tone to it so I think they're very close to perfecting it which is great because that's one of the criticisms I've had with these minifigures in the past so fantastic job so if you've been thinking about getting this one I'd say pick it up I didn't mind paying the full price for it I think I got it when one of the lego.com deals were going on so if there's a good gift with purchase that this set qualifies for it then definitely pick it up it was good good minifigure selections good build it's got some good heft to it some good swish ability great large interior i think it was well worth my time and effort to build i'm pleasantly surprised and very happy with this one yeah pick it up all right next time i have some marvel legends figures we have the latest in the disney plus wave now this one is not the first wave featuring these new windowless boxes that honor goes to black panther wakanda forever but this is one of the newer waves i believe the second one to feature the non-plastic opening where you could actually see the figures it's been pretty controversial in the collector community some people are okay with it some people just absolutely hate about it we'll talk about that next time as well as the figures themselves when we open up this wave so until then stay safe happy hunting Thank you.